Nuclear weapons are now 65 years old. Don't you think it's time for compulsory retirement? Franca, 26 years, and Velmut, 27 years, from the Netherlands. I love that the Dutch youth and a lot of European youth have the privilege not to have experienced war. Wouldn't it be great if that remains that way and will be established for everybody? Kirsten Stromme, 23, from Norway. More than anything in my life, I love those brief encounters with strangers that make me feel we are all in this together. Elena Sepakhova, 22 years, Belarus. For me, it is important that my family and I have a safe future in a secure country. The stability and security promised us by nuclear weapons is simply a facade behind which the awful truth resides. We, the young generation, have the courage to speak and act on the truth. The truth about the terrible effects of nuclear weapons, about the unacceptable and incalculable consequences of the future use of nuclear weapons and the huge waste of human and financial resources, the harm to human beings, plants, animals and habitats, their contribution to the problem of climate change and their potential to cause irreversible damage to all of us and future generations. We ask diplomats, experts, members of armed forces, public officials and civil societies to have courage and to act on the truth. US President Obama has pointed to the desired goal at the horizon, a world free of nuclear weapons. Now is the time to make concrete steps we call on all nuclear-capable states to commit themselves to the goal of global zero. We have to abolish the threats of causing a humanitarian and environmental catastrophe in less than half an hour. The time to start serious negotiations on a framework of agreements banning nuclear weapons must be taken these weeks here in New York. The ultimate goal must be a world where nuclear weapons are illegal and no longer exist. The way to reach this goal is a nuclear weapons convention. Each year since 2005 we have stood here in front of you asking and bleeding on you to be reasonable and to think about our future and not to leave us the legacy of fear, threats and death. We have seen no real actions or courageous leadership. So today we ask once more for all states to begin real, honest and fruitful negotiations leading to a nuclear weapons free world. We do not want our governments to be in constantly hostile postures. We, the youth, and we, the people, want you to take us into account when you plan our future. We must remember that the decisions taken this month do not only have an impact on us, but on the future of our children, the future of your children and grandchildren. Now, this is what counts and why it is up to all of us to change hope into reality. We thank you for your attention and we and all future generations will thank you for abolishing nuclear weapons. <laughs>